Hello everybody, I'm Mickey Andrade. Today we're gonna go over our Subaru STI giveaway car because many of you guys have been asking us, how much does it cost to build a car like this? Today we're gonna to go over what was put into this car that we're giving away at the end of the month. So we're gonna break it down in a couple different categories, starting with the car itself and the very major things that you see on the outside. So our 2008 Subaru STI was actually sourced locally here in San Diego from a private seller. We paid around $15,000 for this car. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the exterior now that we've purchased the car. The things that really jump out at you are the paint job and the bodywork. So SOS Customs actually did all this for us. It's a custom color that we designed with them. And they did all the bodywork for around $7,500. The body kit that we use is from Mountain Rider. And it's basically a full bolt-on kit that widens the car by like four inches. And the kit was actually $2,349. And the other thing that really catches your eye on the outside of the car is this agency power rally wing with the carbon blade. And this was around $900. And underneath the rear bumper, we have the Lions kit rear diffuser, and this was $500. And moving on to the taillights, we have these red overlays from Premium Auto Styling. These were around $40 for the pair. Moving on to the front of the car, we have this very aggressive Sabon hood. This was around $920 for the carbon fiber hood that we've actually painted here. We also went ahead and used their grill that's for a 2011 and up STI, and this was around $340. And to round out the front end conversion, we used an OEM Subaru front bumper from a 2011 and up, and this was around $200 attached to our Subaru OEM 11 and up bumper. We've got APR carbon fiber brake inlet ducts. And these were around $360 for the pair. One of my favorite parts of the vehicle, wheels and tire setup, the Cosmos XT006R wheels. These were around $1,300 for the set. And we've also got Falcon Azenus RT615K plus tires and 315 on all four corners coming in at around $1,600 for the set. And to get the stance where we wanted, we went with Silver's coilovers, and that setup cost around $1,500. Inside the wheel, we've got our brake upgrade. We went ahead and upgraded the stock brakes to StopTech, rotors, and pads, and those were around $870 for all four corners. One of the last things we've actually added to this car were these RPG carbon fiber mirrors and now these are stage rally style mirror super cool these were 360 dollars so there's a lot going on here uh, but the main portion of the fluoro stuff is actually uh, for our front mount intercooler that's from mishimoto and that front mount kit's about 1150 dollars in its entirety and it comes complete keeping with the mishimoto theme since we have a lot of their parts in here we do have their radiator which is around 350 dollars and we also have their intake system, which is around $315. Okay, now back to the fluorescent yellow stuff. We've got our Perrin strut tower bar, and that goes for around $235. We have the Perrin fender shrouds, and these cost around $150 for the pair. So here we have a Perrin solenoid cover. This is about $45, and we have the turbo inlet as well, and this is around $283. And to round out the Perrin goodies in the engine bay, we have their recirculating blow-off valve, and this thing was 200 bucks. Next up is the Deech Works fuel injectors, and those were $289. So not inside the engine bay, but actually in the fuel tank, we added a Deech Works fuel pump, and it was $289. And to round things out in the fueling department, we actually added the delicious tuning E85 kit, and that was around $1,145. So this thing is flex fuel compatible. And to top out the engine bay, we've got a bevy of parts from Grim Speed, starting with the pitch stop mount, which is found back here underneath our intake pipe. And that goes for $99. We've also added their brake master cylinder stopper. That's $95. We've added their ultra cool alternator cover and radiator cover. And those go for $90 and $60 respectively. And that's it for our engine bay. 
Let's move on to the interior. So on the interior, we did a lot of replacing of a lot of OEM parts. I think we spent around six to $700 on Subaru OEM parts to replace worn and broken components inside the car itself. Now, uh, one of the places we spent a lot of our time was on the audio system. As you can see here, we have a Pioneer touchscreen uh, hands-free unit. It has CarPlay and Android Auto. And this head unit runs around 280 bucks. Made it to our Pioneer head unit, we have an OEM Audio Plus 8-inch subwoofer with enclosure, as well as their digital sound processing amplifier, which was underneath the seat here. That system retails starting at $999. Complementing the OEM Audio Plus system, we have Kicker's 2020 line of components and coaxes in the six and a half inch variety in each door. And to round out the audio system, we actually utilized an access integrate steering wheel interface that allows us to actually utilize the volume and controls for the head unit. We also used a slew of Metro products as well, the uh, head unit mount, and as well as a lot of their wiring products and other things on this car. Moving on to the shifter, we've actually added a cart boy short throw shifter in here, as well as his shifter bushings, which are urethane, and those cost $150 and $70 for the bushings respectively. We've also added our super rad shift knob here in fluoro yellow to go with all the exterior accents. These are available on our site and they're around 100 bucks. A couple of the other nice things that we did were the uh, suede headliner. This is about 150 bucks in materials plus some glue. So let's say 200 bucks for the headliner. And to tie this headliner into the rest of the interior of the car, we added a stitch boots, shift boot in gray Alcantara and also an e-brake stitch boot in gray Alcantara. And these boots can be had for around 35 bucks a piece. As you guys know, we spent quite a bit of time in one of our videos actually retrofitting these headlights, and these headlights were in really bad condition when we got them. So, we ordered a set of new headlight housings to use the, uh, the lenses as donor lenses. Those were about $250 for the pair, and we took the lenses off of those and used our original HID headlights for a retrofit and that retrofit cost about a thousand dollars and as with all our builds we threw a load of downstar hardware at this engine bay and chassis we've got about 150 dollars in bolts and washers on this thing one of the other really cool things we added was the grim speed bro tie and what that is is a bracket that mounts behind the center grill it allows you to mount these hella horns that they offer as a kit with a direct wiring harness the bro tie costs around $42, the Hella lights cost around $30, and the wiring kit is an additional $30. So there's a lot of things on this car that you actually don't see that are really cool. And one of those things is the rear lower control arms, which we had powder coated fluorescent yellow. Those are from Agency Power, and they're about 500 bucks. We've also got parent sway bars on the front and rear, along with parent end links on front and rear as well. The pair and sway bars and end links were about $870 for the whole setup. And to round out the parent bits, we have 20 millimeter wheel spaces on all four corners, and those came in at around $162. So that's a really high level view of what was put into this car. If you're interested in seeing a detailed list of all the parts on this car, you can head over to throttle.com where we have that listed under the sweepstakes page. All of these parts are one thing, but there's a lot of labor that goes into putting all those parts onto the car. And so all of these prices do not include Ricky, myself, or Evan's time and efforts put into this car, which is thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours that were done to make this car as awesome as it is. So all in, you're probably wondering, how much does it cost to build this car? The retail price of all of the parts that have been put into this car is around $45,000. Again, that doesn't include Ricky, myself, or Evan's hours and time put into it, which would be many thousands more. By going to throttle.com and joining our VIP program, or simply buying a t-shirt or a car part for your next project, you're gonna get an entry to win this car. Every $1 you spend on our site gives you one entry to win this car. If you're a VIP member, you're gonna get three times entries. So every dollar you spend gives you three entries to win this car. Because in just one week's time, this is gonna to belong to one of you. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. We'll do our best to answer those. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, for subscribing and leaving us comments. We appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one.